This is my first test of the Sony HDV camcorder that I just got on eBay. It's an HC7 HDV tape camcorder bought in as is condition, no returns. So I'm really hoping it's going to work. That's the bag it came in. And it came with a battery, but no other accessories. So hopefully everything is working. I tried putting it in a tape. I recorded it on a Canon HDV camcorder and it played fine. So hopefully this recording will also work fine when I play it back. Well, I just played back that first recording I made and the video looked fine, but when monitoring it through headphones, I noticed the left channel was much louder than the right channel and it varied depending on how loud I was talking. As I talked more it tended to shift back more to the center Then when I paused a bit it came back more towards the left channel. So it's like the auto gain control of the microphones are not working equally in the two channels. This is the built-in microphone with automatic level control turned on. So I'll need to do some more tests to figure out what's going on with that. Because physically, the you know, mechanically, everything's working. The zoom is working. The focus is working. The steady shot is working. The tape mechanism is working. But this audio is coming out weird. I could connect an external microphone and see how that turns out. Okay, I just connected a mono external microphone from my box of microphones here. And when I first plugged it in, I heard a horrendous crackling in the headphones. So it sounded like the external microphone jack had very dirty contacts. So it's possible that it was causing the problem with the built-in microphone. Because it has like a muting switch which turns off the built-in microphone when you plug in an external one like that. So I'm hearing it come exactly from the middle because it's a mono microphone. So it does appear that the external microphone jack is now working correctly. Now I have a stereo external microphone. Left channel, right channel. This is Sony stereo external microphone. And when I talk directly in the middle, I'm hearing it in the middle of my headphones. So it sounds like the external input is working perfectly fine. But when I switch back to the built-in microphone, I'm still hearing that weird thing where the left channel is much louder than the right channel, and it varies. So, some kind of problem with the built-in microphone on this camcorder. Okay, I hopefully have now a fully functional Sony HDR HC7 using its built-in microphone and hopefully sounding equal in both channels, more or less. With the help of all this, I bought another Sony HDR HC7 on eBay, advertised as for parts are not working. It actually came in a bundle of two other broken camcorders. This one was shown in the photos as playing a tape. It was powered on playing a tape but it had lines in the image. So I thought maybe it just needs the heads cleaned. Well I got it. I powered it on, put in a head cleaning tape, and as soon as the tape got inside the camcorder it totally died. It would no longer power on with either a battery or the power supply. So I thought I might as well use it for parts. 
So with the help of a video teardown on YouTube, which is actually for the HDR HC9, but physically it's identical. They just updated some of the features. I tore it down enough to get to the lens assembly, which also had this audio board attached to the built-in microphone. This is actually out of this camera I'm using now. And I took the one out of here and swapped it into this camera. So I swapped the microphone and the audio board. And I reassembled it. And hopefully that fixed the problem. And just to make sure the external microphone jack is also still working fine. I now have that connected. Now I don't see anything obviously wrong with this board. It doesn't have any leaking electrolytic capacitors or anything. It's possible it was just a loose connection and in the process of swapping the board and re-establishing the connections that would have fixed it even if I kept the original board and just reconnected everything but I won't know because even if I reassemble this, it's probably still going to be totally dead. I've reassembled enough of the broken camcorder that it should be able to power on. This part has the main circuit board, so that's the heart of the entire camcorder. And here is the battery providing power, and there's the power switch, and the entire tape mechanism. If I turn it on, I get nothing. No power indicator LEDs, I don't hear the tape running, so it's still totally dead. So, I don't know, there must be some kind of internal fuse in these. That blue, for some reason, maybe the tape mechanism drew too much current and it popped the fuse. That's the only thing I can think of. There you can see the internal backup battery, it's a little coin cell. I don't know if that's meant to be replaceable or if it might be soldered in place, but I do have one other Sony mini DV camcorder, standard definition, but on that one this battery is dead, so every time I disconnect the battery it loses all its settings. So otherwise it works fine. And I was able to extract the head cleaning tape that was trapped inside it. I further disassembled the tape mechanism so I could get access to the motor and I directly connected a 9 volt battery to the loading motor and the tray slid out and popped open I was able to take out the tape so that's good because these tapes alone are worth about $15. I also noticed on this part of the broken camcorder that I rated for parts this white crusty substance all over it you may think that's battery leakage, but that little coin cell was not leaking, and I've never known Sony infolithium batteries to leak like that, unless somebody was using a really cheap aftermarket one. So maybe someone spilled some liquid in there, and it dried and caused a short. And here's the big charge capacitor for the Xenon flash, because this can also take photos and store them to a memory stick. And when you're disassembling it, you're supposed to discharge this so you don't get zapped by it. It's 330 volts, 70 microfarads. So if anybody needs some spare parts for a Sony HDR HC7, just let me know. And like I mentioned, this is so similar to the HDR HC9 that I'm sure some of the parts are exactly the same. Like I'm almost certain that the audio board and microphone are identical between those two models.